Which you, you would figure for the most part. They are seniors. Um, certainly take advantage of their seizing their last opportunity here with Norristown Area High School before they move on to the next level of life. And all of them were a part of that District 1 champion team last year. Of course, two years ago, these Eagles went undefeated, but all of those guys were sophomores then. Of course, Mayer was the starting point guard, but uh, all the other ones uh, with a minimal or non-existent role on varsity. And uh, yeah, so a lot of these guys are pretty experienced also. And Yates puts it up, got it to go somehow. Strong drive by Yates. Yates is what the Eagles need here. He is tall, he's 6'4", and he plays just a bit taller than that, getting strong to the hoop. Yates with four points all in the second half and stepping on the baseline, but not before a foul. That's more. That's Rasheed McCrary's first personal foul. Uh, Norristown's first team foul here in the second half, and they have a six-point lead with 5.29 remaining in the third quarter. He stepped on the sideline, but in the referee's opinion, he was pushed by Rasheed McCray. Here's Gritich to Riddick. Mayor on the D. Putting it up is Moore, and he drills it. Oh, my. Uh, this, Mark, this Moore kid can shoot it. Is that a bold statement or what? Oh, yeah, uh, he's not second, afraid. His second NBA yeah. range three-pointer, and I'll tell you what, nothing but cotton, and it was just about a line drive. Uh, the kid can shoot it. I mean, that one goes up in the air. You're like, no, don't take that. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a bad shot until it goes in. Exactly. Here's McCray. All into the backcourt for Mayer, who has to sprint to run it down. Now it gets right by Greedich like he's standing still, but the pass is off the mark, and it's batted around, and Greedich comes up with it. Here is Moore, who just hit that big three, but Hargrove plucks it. Hargrove ahead for Davis, who's all alone. The pass allowed the defense to catch up, though, and Thomas blocked it, but fouled Davis in the process. Good hustle for Norristown, get up the floor there. Chris Davis went to the hoop strong. Uh, and was able to draw the foul against him, the much taller Thomas, who has certainly, as we know, made his uh, presence felt in the middle. Uh, let's see Davis's go at the line here. These are his first two foul shots of the afternoon or the evening. They're actually going to give that foul to Moore. I thought it was on uh, Thomas, but it was. But sometimes superstars don't get the fouls called. I guess uh, <laughs> the, the refs acknowledge that, and Davis <laughs> misses his first foul shot. He hits the second, but the Eagles' free throw shooting has been somewhat questionable here tonight. They've made two of six so far tonight. That one's deflected away by McCray. It's going to stay down here. I think Norristown's worked on uh, attacking a lazy pass. Lots of lazy passes here by Math and Sciences, and the Eagles are preying on them. They got a ton of deflections. Riddick cranks up a three. It's no good. A lot of long threes jacked up by Math, Civics, and Sciences, and they're hitting on some of them, but I don't know. I, I don't think know if Moore many... shoots them, they're in good hands. The rest of the guys are struggling. I just found yeah. yeah. a little sense of uh, tired over the gym here, perhaps over the math and science squad. Maybe they're a little tired. Here's Hargrove putting it up, missing the little floater in the lane. Here's Moore now. Dishing it off to Riddick. Nice pass for Thomas, but it goes through his hands. Picked up, though. And there's a foul called with uh, Kwame Agridich driving to the lane. So he's going to take two shots. He can cut it to a two-point game if he hits him. Uh, fouls on Jaquil Hargrove. That's his second foul. And I believe it's Norristown team third foul. You know, I really feel like as uh, Greta hits the free throw, I feel like if fatigue really becomes a big factor, I feel like that works to the Eagles' advantage. Because I feel like the Eagles are a lot deeper than the civics and sciences. Uh, uh, but that's yet to be determined. Of course, we're, you know, we haven't even seen a lot of these guys off the bench yet. It's really early in the season, but uh, we will see. And to be fair to the opponent here, we're not quite sure how hard they work, how much effort they put in, and how deep they are either. Here's Davis in the lane, floats it up. It's short. And Massive Sciences comes down with it. Here's Kwame Greedich stopping and dishing it off. That jumper is up and off the mark from Austin Hawkins. Good rebound floorboard there by Yates. It's a one possession game, 36-33. The Eagles with the ball and the lead. Davis to Yates. Certainly the scoring's calmed down here in the second half. McCray puts up a wild shot, it's no good. A kind of trading blows back and forth, not necessarily trading baskets, just going back and forth up the floor here. Caldwell, crazy reverse, it's not even close. And Mayer comes down with the loose rebound. 
Long hey. pass ahead for Davis. Norristown needs to set something up here and get a good shot. And it's just wild. It's out of control. Turnover, it seems like every time down the floor, if not a missed layup, it's a turnover. That was a crazy pass by Andre Thomas, resulting in a turnover. Mayer with a short jumper. And Davis. Will they cut the shot? He's not saying no shot there. No shot. Um, which means the foul has to be on the floor. And Norristown will inbound on the basket. Number 20, Malik Williams checking in for 15. Rashid McCray, uh, not the NBA, I guess. No continuation on that yeah. one. The pass is controlled by Williams, who puts it up and puts it in. And I've liked what I've seen from Malik Williams so far, a junior. Uh, gives the Eagles a little bit of size and rebounding. Uh, and that's good, because like we said, that's one thing that might be kind of questionable about this team. Of course, they're missing Tom Smith and Bryant Bayless. That's a lot of their size inside. But uh, that one's missed by Thomas on the ground, and Yates picks it up. Those layups that the uh, Math and Science School was getting early in the first half and for much of the first half uh, don't exist right now, and, and, they're, and they're struggling a little bit to get a good shot off. Norris, on the other hand, is getting close to the rim and drawing a foul there. Good job by Alan Yates, and he'll shoot two. Norristown leads by five, 38-33. Two minutes and 33 seconds left in the third quarter. Mark. Alan Yates' free throw shooting munched the line. Of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up the PW game a couple years ago, or last year, actually, as he misses the first. With his two pressure free throws at the end of the game that he missed badly, a lot of people won't let Alan Yates forget about that. But really, you know, that's last year. Everyone needs to forget about it. Uh, but Alan Yates needs to do his part and make his free throws. Quiet the critics, and, and he can't do it here. Right on cue, Mark. Right on cue. Regardless of the time, you need to make foul shots. Uh, the free ones are the ones he should be making, and so far Norristown is two for eight on foul shots. Two for eight, not very good. Hargrove tried to run before he had it. It results in a crazy scramble. The refs will award possession to... Math Science will have the ball here. I think a Norristown player was laying on the out-of-bounds line there as he touched it, something like that. 38-33, 2.23 to go in the third quarter. And the Eagles do have the lead. I'm Mark Cladens, going with Joe Wise, bringing you Norristown basketball. First game of the year, first of many exciting games. There's a good deflection away there by Tyrese White. We've seen a lot of deflections and tipped balls by the Eagles. Good really hustle. disrupting the offensive. Definitely, the Mark, definitely. Good hustle by Tyrese White there. He's a strong kid, fought around the screen and got his hand into the passing lane. Good job by the junior. Here's Greedich. It was back to the defender, White. Now Moore, who's hit some long threes already. Oh, wow, way too tall for Womack as that one sails over his head and out of bounds. That one would have been tall for, should I say, Manute Bowl? <laughs> that would have been tall for anybody. Here's Yates driving strong, but it's blocked away by Caldwell, who comes down with the ball as well. Here comes Massive Sciences. Stop and pop from Greedich, and he hits it from just inside the arc. It's 38-35. That's a big-time jumper there by Greedich. Um, just stop and pop and pulling up. Great rotation, great elevation. And the finish puts the Math and Science School to within three. That ball off of a couple of players ultimately ruled Eagles ball. Minute 33 left in the third quarter. Great ball game thus far, great ball game. Here's Tyrese White getting it to Davis in the corner. Not hesitant to take the three, but it's well short. And then it's about a bounce. It's going to Math, Civics, and Sciences. Not the kind of shot you're looking for. Uh, it's a close ball game. And it's just a rush shot, in my opinion. They could have taken their time, got a better look at the basket. Even drawing a foul here. Uh, the guests do have five fouls here in the third quarter. They're soon to be in the penalty. Greedich off the backboard and no good. From bad shot to worse there for Math and Science. Yeah. Uh, Thomas dribbles it off his leg. He's been a turnover machine for everything good he's done. And now Mayer's going to get the foul for going to the ground and tripping up the player. But for as good as Thomas has been, he's been a turnover machine. As, um, it's only the first foul for the senior Sheldon Mayer, and it's Norristown team third. The last couple minutes here back and forth are a bit messy, diving on the floor, loose balls flying each and everywhere. Um, somebody should calm it down a little bit here, maybe set up a play and get the bucket the opportunity that they want. Uh, minute four left, Norristown leads by three. 
And the Eagles feel like the, the faster the pace, the better the chance they have, but so does Math Civics and Sciences. So it's kind of a battle of two similar styles, and it's really interesting to watch. I agree, and that's a good point. You're playing right into the other team's hands by speeding up. Here's Greedich, splitting two defenders, kicking it out to Moore. Greedich into the corner for Womack, takes the three. It's not even close. Moore puts it up, took some contact, no whistles, and Thomas tips it up and in. There's Thomas making his presence felt with the rebound, the putback, and the deuce. 30 seconds, Norristown leads by one. Closest math and science has been since the open tip, I believe. Andre Thomas with six and eight, that is points and rebounds. Actually, that was his ninth right there. Here's Davis. Into the paint. Great, Great feed love. to Chris Davis. Wow. Excellent. Great play, Chris Davis. Draws the defender, gets deep under the rim, and makes a simple pass for the lay-in. That's more like it. Davis with his fourth assist to go along with his uh, 10 points, and that shot a wild one at the buzzer, and it's no good. Moore nearly got it to go, but it'll be a 40 to 37 game going into the fourth and final quarter. And uh, Narstown fans, you might not be accustomed to seeing games this close, but here we are, fourth quarter, three-point game. And of course, what we said at halftime has still stood quite true. The Eagles, with all that speed and quickness, especially out along the perimeter and in transition, and uh, the uh, massive size is also with some good transition stuff going, but really playing around their big man, Andre Thomas. How appropriate, how appropriate that it's the Mass Civic Sciences elephants with all their size and, and, and inside dominance. And then, of course, the Eagles flying up and down the court. Ah, well said, well said. <laughs> Aptly named the elephants for those big fellas out there. Um, the, you know, the game is kind of slowed down scoring-wise here, but we're, we're right, right where we expected to be with this tough math science school here. And as you said, I guess maybe Norristown's not used to such a close contest until until the playoffs, until Chester's uh, right, right, right. The, the opponent. But again, a tune-up like this early in the season really, really gets you geared up for those later games. Uh, here we go, fourth quarter, Norristown 40, Math Science is 37. Um, it should be a great, exciting fourth quarter. With all those playoff games that the Eagles have had, though, they're no stranger to these close games. It's just that in the regular season, they're used to maybe some blowouts, but uh, at the same time, with that playoff uh, experience and everything, Sheldon Mayer has nine, Chris Davis has ten. Uh, Jewel Hargrove has been shut out in the second half, but he has five from the first half. Well, on and the floor for the Eagles is Chris Davis, Sheldon Mayer, uh, Rasheed McCray, Alan Yates, and number five, Jaquan Hargrove. That's the five for Norristown. Another steal. The Cray is held by uh, Moore. Not a bad foul as the Eagles are going to have some numbers. Not a bad foul. That is a 16 foul for Math Science. And they are one foul away from being in a penalty this early in the fourth quarter. Can be an issue only and only if you can make foul shots. Yet to be determined. Well, that high pressure defense by the Eagles has gotten things done. They have 14 takeaways. Uh, more than doubling what their opponents have with only six. And uh, Alan Yates has been pretty solid with his six rebounds leading the Eagles. But of course, Andre Thomas with nine of them. And Math four blocks Excuse me. to go along with his uh, six points. Matt Science, it looks like they're in a 3 2 zone. Little change. Yates tries to take the perimeter jump jumper. That one's off of a leg, though, and it's going to stay over here. So Davis inbounds it. What a pretty play off the inbound, but McCray couldn't finish. Got to make, got to make the chippies. Riddick out of control, but he gets it back. And he is charged with an offensive foul. Way to hold his ground. Alan Yates there, the big senior, held his ground, charged a foul. Although that would be considered the seventh foul. Um, one and ones will not be shot because of the offensive foul. Right, and Alan Yates. Uh, he's looked better to me in the second half. Uh, just protecting that paint, not letting Thomas dominate as much. And of course, he's got his rebound total, like we said, up to six. So he's getting things done in the second exactly half. Exactly right. McCray gets it to go, goes down to the ground. The whistles are silent, but he'll take the tote. Norristown leads by five with just under seven minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Riddick goes over to Greedich, covered by Mayer, an excellent defender. And now it's Nigel Caldwell with a little pro hop. Great feed for Thomas, who goes up strong and is hammered and is going to go to the line. 
Good dribble drive with the jump hop there by Caldwell and a great dish to the big man Thomas below. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Rashid McCray has stuck out to me as well with his eight points, so he's done a very solid job. A another guy that we didn't see on varsity at all last year, and he's a relative unknown, but looking real good early. I agree. Wearing that 15, I think Christmas wore last year. Right. Trying to fill those shoes. Uh, and that's a missed foul shot there. Foul shots um, seem to be an issue. Boy, Andre Thomas misses badly. And for me, if I'm the Eagles, Andre Thomas has to prove he can make free throws before I give him anything remotely easy inside. Yeah, well said. Yates only has one foul. And uh, he might as well use a couple more here in this sure. second half. May went all of the cup but missed it. And now Womack puts it up and in as the Eagles couldn't get back on D. And it's 42-39 Eagles. And the Massive Sciences haven't led uh, in quite some time. But they stuck around and they're still in it. And we only have six minutes to go. They are right there, only trailing by three points here. Uh, again, 6.23 left in the fourth quarter. It's just a good basketball game. Not the cleanest, not the prettiest. But the Math and Science squad, certainly game opponent. Uh, taking advantage of the numbers and opportunities and finding their way to the basket emphatically that last time causing Arstown to take up a timeout. Mike Evans and his staff talking things over with the Eagles. Dan Jackson with Math, Civics, and Sciences. And again, we got six minutes and change to go in the game. I'm Mark Kaladitsky, along with Jared Elias, again, bringing you Narstown basketball all year long uh, on NASD TV. And the Eagles prime for another playoff run, hopefully. If they can, if tonight's any indication, 